everyone and welcome to your art lesson online. Today we are inspired by a Spanish artist who loved to paint his dreams. It's Salvador Dali. Salvador Dali was a Spanish surrealist artist famous for his technical skill, precise craftsmanship and the striking and bizarre images in his work. That means it was all a bit strange and I love strange things. He said that he was inspired by his dreams and visions. Pause the video, look at the paintings and say out loud what you can see. Can you try and list at least four things? Welcome back. What I saw might be different to what you saw, but I thought I would share what I could see. I saw elephants wearing tubers. <laughs> I saw grass made from musical instruments. I saw musical notes in the sky. And I saw a sail made of butterflies. That might be similar or different to what you saw, but I thought it's really interesting that we can zoom into paintings and look at all of the different parts of them. This is a painting by Salvador Dali called The Elephants that he made in 1948. The elephant's legs look a bit different, don't they? He turned the elephants into spindly, giraffe-like creatures that tower over the land. I would like you to talk about how this makes you feel, the colours you can see, and then say if you like this or not and why. For example, I would say that I like the colours and how they gradually get darker into the sky. I can see very small figures at the bottom and I wonder who they are. I like this painting because it is different and it makes me think of other animals that we could make into tall creatures. Pause the video and talk about the painting to someone in your house, in school, a teddy or just yourself is fine. Okay, now we're back. Let's take a look at these animals. Now, these are some of the animals that Salvador Dali used in his paintings. Could you imagine if these had super long legs, just like in his elephant paintings? <laughs> this made me laugh so much, and I thought it was a really funny idea. So today, that is what we're going to be doing. We are going to be creating very tall animals. I hope it made you laugh too. I've chosen to draw tall birds today, but please remember you can choose your own animal. Have a think about what animal you want to draw and remember this is fun and it's okay to laugh at your ideas. So let's have a look at the resources you will need today. You will need a range of colouring pens, a pencil, a black pen for outlining, and then you might want to add a background wash with watercolours once you're finished, but you do not need to add this part. Now, I hope you're sitting comfortably. Let's watch the video to see how I created my tall birds inspired by Salvador Dali, and then you can do your own. Hello everyone and welcome to your Drawings by Me art tutorial. Today we will be creating our own unique version of a famous painting featuring animals. You will be learning how to adapt your ideas from famous paintings, using your knowledge of artists to add your own touches, sketching lightly and developing your own drawing style. In today's tutorial we are inspired by a Spanish surrealist painter. He was best known for creating bizarre, strange and striking pictures. Do you know who we're inspired by today? It's Salvador Dali. Dali is best known for his paintings of melting clocks and liked to paint images from his own wild imagination. He was slightly unruly and unusual, following his own rules and creating surrealist paintings through things he had dreamed and memories he tried to remember. Surrealism means that people try to find truth in the world not by looking at what's actually there, but recreating art, literature and film through expressing their dreams and imagination of the world. Instead of creating tall elephants, we will be creating tall birds today. You will need pencils and a rubber, 
Colouring pens including black and watercolours for the background. In this painting, you're going to explore surrealism by making the legs or arms of your animal extremely long. I have chosen to create tall birds, but you can choose any animal that you would like. First, start by drawing the body of the animal towards the top of your paper, and then draw the legs. You can make them straight, zagged, or curvy. Remember, this is your own version. Choose to draw two, three, or four of your animals, and once you are happy, you can colour them in. Choose two or three different colours for each animal to add in the element of bright colours. And if you choose opposite colours, those are ones that are opposite each other on the colour wheel, they will look very good together. Once you have coloured in all of your animals, you can outline in a black pen. This makes your details stand out even more. Once your pen is dry, you can add a wash of colour in the background with your watercolour paints. This is just like Dolly. You can choose to create a background wash using any colours that you would like. I chose reds, oranges and yellows as that is what Dolly used in his painting of his tall elephants. And there is your finished surrealist animal drawing inspired by Salvador Dolly. Now it is your turn to create your own art. Enjoy and tag us in any pictures you take of your wonderful art. Remember that art is fun. Sometimes you'll get a little messy and that is okay. Just remember to wash your hands and your art area after. I hope this lesson helps you feel happy and it's made you laugh a little. Remember to have fun, be creative and keep on finding things that make you laugh.